Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, and welcome to a really quick lesson on what's called line boil. If you don't know what line boil looks like, this is a line. And this is a line being boiled. So it kind of looks like a piece of spaghetti in a pan. It's an effect that's used quite a lot in quite limited animation. And essentially it's where you draw the same image multiple times. So I've just drawn this line with my Wacom tablet multiple times and you get this nice wobbly sort of image. Originally it wasn't an effect at all. Let's look at rhubarb and custard. This is quite famous for its line boil style animation. It was done using magic markers in a really simple way and the animators would have to trace over the frames underneath and because it was done quite quickly you get this very wobbly line quality so it was something that the animators embraced to give this kind of nice wonky style to the animation and make it look very hand-drawn and authored so let's take a look at a few more examples of line boil Here we've got a wobbly line, just drawn with the pen tool, but I've drawn over it using my Wacom tablet, and we get something that looks like this. So what I've done is created three drawings of the same line on keyframes, and I've made each keyframe last for two frames each. If you don't understand about keyframes or animation in Flash, make sure that you check out some of my more basic tutorials. Here we go. This is the word hello, written in text. And here I've drawn over that using my Wacom tablet. I've made three different drawings of it, just like I did with the line. And I get this nice wobbly effect. So this is the first frame. That's the second, that's the third. So just looping over and over again, you get that nice line boil effect. This is a picture of a ball that I drew with the shape tool. And here, I've got exactly the same shape, but I've used a ragged style of stroke. You can change the style of the stroke by going over to the properties and clicking on this pen, and you can change the style of the stroke to ragged. So I've got it on a solid pattern. I've made it wavy, made the wavelength medium, and sharp corners is off. So you can see what I've done is I've applied that ragged stroke effect to the shape three times on three different keyframes. And because it's a randomization of the line, you get this nice wobbly effect like so. So that's Flash doing the line boiling for you. And in the next example, I'll show you one that's hand drawn. This is a hand-drawn line boil, as you can see. Let's turn the guide off, there we go. So that's even more kind of wobbly. Let's take a look at what it looked like originally. So that's the guide that I drew over that's on this layer here. Turn that off, you can see that's my nice line boiled version of that. Let's take a look at one more example. Here I've got a face. This is what it looked like originally. It's a really nice clean drawing that I did in Flash. You might recognize it from my lip sync tutorials. But I drew over it three different times using my Wacom tablet and I did it really roughly. And now I've got this nice wobbly effect. So this is used in salad fingers, for example. The animation in that's quite boily and it gives a kind of shimmering dreamlike quality to the line work. So there you go, that's line boil. Have a go yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books, the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike and are well worth checking out.